This is me practicing for when I get coilovers. Oh no, is it gonna fit? Oh God, no. Oh, I don't know if it's gonna fit, they're so close. Oh, we just fit. Just, just made it, guys. We just made it. In this episode, we're gonna wrap the side skirts on my 2018 Subaru Impreza. So we're here at the shop. Remember last episode I said I was gonna wrap the side skirts and I kinda got sidetracked making the grill for the Supra? Well, that's what we're gonna do today, but my car is covered in pollen. I don't know how obvious it is on the camera. <laughs> also, I think my car, my roof is actually green now. <laughs> Let's get this car washed right now. Sometimes you come to a point where you need to step back and reevaluate before you can move forward. And I think I'm at that point right now. Check this out. So as we all know, the next step for this car is coilover. The next big step, at least. Today I'm wrapping the side skirts, but the next big step is coilovers. If you don't know what coilovers are, that means I'm dropping my car to the floor as low as I can. But here's the thing, I've been looking at my car, and check this out, ever since I added the splitters, the side of the car does not match the front of the car. It's a little lower than the front of the car, as you can see. So, since I'm wrapping the side skirts, I figure why not get rid of the side splitters? I'm not liking them anymore. I think I wanna get rid of them. But here's the thing, if you saw my video linked up there, you know that I drilled a lot of holes in my side skirts to mount those side splitters. So I'm kind of scared to take them off, but let's get started. This is me practicing for when I get coilovers. Oh no, is it gonna fit? Oh God, no. Oh, I don't know if it's gonna fit, they're so close. Oh, we just fit. Just, just made it, guys. We just made it. I just took off the side skirts and everything, but I'm gonna go run an errand for Enzo. He's letting me drive his little Benzo, eh? Rest in peace. Soon you will be revived, my friend. But right now we're taking the Benzo to go pick up some wrap. Let's go. Just got here at Feller's, and look at this G-Wag. All matted out. Beautiful car. Just picked up the whole roll of carbon fiber and some knifeless tape. I didn't know places like this existed. You order whatever wrap you want and they got a bunch of wraps and you just come pick it up. Pretty cool, let's head back to the shop. Dang, the boss at work, huh? Always. What's up, senpai? What's up? What do we got here? Oh, Porsche. Porsche Panamera Turbo, huh? This is one of my dream cars right here. So this guy came in for a wrap removal. This wrap was actually pretty good. It looked like a paint job. And I've heard that when you have a black car and you go white, it's really hard to make it look good because it's two totally opposite colors. But this wrap was actually done really well. And he's removing it. I think it's gonna look way better black with the red seats, dude. This is one of my dream cars. Say bye, that shit looks <laughs> Oh man. A high profile client coming into Supreme Wraps, huh? Senpai wrapping that front lip. What do you think, dude? I think it looks pretty badass, man. Let's check it out from the front. It just adds a whole nother layer, man. All right, so we got the side skirts off the car. Got them on this little table thing, and we're gonna try to wrap it in gloss black. If you can tell, I spray painted it, and it's nice, but it's not exactly where we want it. So. The 
Everything is done. Let's see what they look like. What do you think? I know I can tell a difference. It's way more glossy. But what do you think? It's been such a busy day. That wasn't even a big job. It's just been a super busy day at the shop. I want to be honest with you guys and I have something important to talk about, but let's talk about it back at the house. So I'm back at the house. I just got back from the gym and took a shower. And I just want to say a couple things to you guys. Making these videos almost every week, I missed a couple, but almost every week has been really fun. It's pushed me. It's helped me get more creative. It's helped me to stay on schedule, which I've really appreciated about this, about this outlet. But I find myself kind of slipping into autopilot when it comes to making these videos and posting them, and I don't like that at all. When that starts to happen, the creativity kind of isn't involved anymore, and you're just kind of going through the motions. And I don't want to do that anymore. Not only that, but there's a lot of things going on with this event that we're creating that's taking a lot of time. It's not ready to tell you about just yet, but it's taking a lot of my time and resources. It's taking a lot of Supreme Raps time and resources, my friend Brett. It's just a lot of work that we're doing. It's doable, but it's taking away from this, which I don't like that to happen, but it is. And it's just an unfortunate circumstance of taking on more responsibilities and going in different paths and more ventures. And on the side of that, I'm also filming more clients and taking photos of more clients. And it's just a lot on my plate. Does it sound like I'm complaining? I don't, I'm, I'm thankful for all of these opportunities and ventures that I'm going through. It's just really unfortunate that YouTube is taking a hit, which it is, and I don't like that. So I'm gonna have to take a break, maybe a week, maybe two weeks tops. I just wanna make sure that I'm putting full effort into these things right now. That way we start off good. That way the event starts off as a banger. You know, I don't want the event to slack off. YouTube, I've been doing, and I will keep continuing. And if I have to miss a week or two, it's unfortunate, but I will do that. The event, this is the first one. We need to make sure this goes well. My clients, they're paying me. I need to make sure I'm giving them 110%. You guys are watching me, and I appreciate that. It's hard to describe how this makes me feel because I don't have the biggest audience, but there are people that Instagram me, there are people that comment, and I appreciate you guys so much. I never thought that I would even have a couple people. Like, I, did, I, I don't wanna let you guys down, and I'm sorry that I have to take a, a week or so. If it's not a big deal to you, thank you. I appreciate that, which I hope it isn't. There's so much content out there, you'll be all right for two weeks tops. And then I promise you guys, we're gonna come back stronger. I have so many skits that I'm lining up to film. The coilovers are coming in. The spoiler is still a possibility, but it's a different one this time. We might be going with a wing instead of a spoiler. Besides the car aspect of the YouTube, we're gonna come back with crazy events. We're gonna come back with higher quality videos. I promise you that because I'm not going into autopilot anymore. I need to continue to test myself and you guys need to hold me to that, okay? So here's what I promise. The next video you guys see on this YouTube, the next vlog type, car type video you guys see, it will be a banger of a skit, maybe two. I don't wanna, you know, give you too much right off the bat, but I just guarantee you guys, and I promise you guys, we're gonna come back and there's no more autopilot mode. I'm gonna test myself more, I'm gonna get more creative, and I can't wait. I do promise you that we'll be back stronger than ever. Until then, go watch my old videos. I think I have like 50 of them now. Get caught up, and I will see you when I see you. Peace.